Should you soak your nuts? According to popular influencers on social media, it is critical to soak walnuts, almonds, etc. before consuming them because 1. Ayurveda says so. 2. Science. Soaking reduces phytates, which reduces the absorption of other micronutrients like zinc, calcium, and iron. And finally, because this is one of those claims where both traditional ideas and scientific validation seem to agree, influencers have now stepped on the gas pedal, claiming that unsoaked nuts will cause gut issues, skin disease, and every other problem short of climate change. So it should be pretty simple to measure phytate and mineral levels before soaking and after soaking and publish those results, right? So some scientists did. In fact, they tried soaking it for four hours and 12 hours with and without salt for a range of nuts and then tested for the amount of phytates and minerals before and after using high performance liquid chromatography. And what they found was soaking makes little or no difference to phytate levels. In fact, for almonds for which there are thousands of videos claiming otherwise, phytate levels increased on soaking. On top of that, soaking resulted in some mineral loss. But it's important to note that soaking does reduce phytate levels in legumes like dal and rajma, but it does not work for nuts. So it's simple. If you want to eat unsoaked roasted nuts, go for it. If you want to soak them and eat them, go for it. Soak or don't soak your nuts, doesn't matter. But for sure, don't soak your brain in social media health advice.